Hello, grade seven. Welcome to lesson eight. This is Miss Brianna, your English teacher from Knowledge Private School. Today, we will look at pages 21, 22, and 23 in your student book. We will have more online lessons um, because we are not coming to school because of Corona. I miss seeing you at school, um, but I hope you can study from home and continue learning. If you have questions, feel free to WhatsApp me anytime. Um, so let's just begin lesson eight. So this is page 21 in your student book. This is Sylvia, Daniel, Carla and Roberto and Tom. Listen and match. So A, I live in Madrid, Spain. I am 12 years old. I play football and my name is Roberto. Which one is Roberto? This one, so you can draw a line. B, I live in Italy, Rome. And I'm 14 years old. I love running. And my name is Daniel. So this is Daniel. C, I am from Florida. I'm 15. And I play tennis. I love Florida in the USA. And my name is Sylvia. So this is Sylvia. And finally, I live in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I'm 13 years old and I play volleyball. And this is Tom. Now, point, ask, and answer. Practice saying these sentences. What's his name or what's her name? Remember we use his for a boy, her for a girl. So what's her name? Sylvia. What's his name? Tom. What's her name? Carla. What's his name? Daniel. So we use his or her. This says, where is she from or where is he from? Or where are they from? So where is he from? Daniel is from Italy. Where is he from? Tom is from Brazil. Where is she from? Sylvia is from Florida. Where are they, more than one, they from Madrid? How old is he or how old is she or how old are they? For example, how old are they? 12. How old is he? 13. How old is he? 14. And how old is she? 15. So again, we use he, she, or they. If it's more than one person, we use they. If it's boys, they. If it's girls, they. If it's boys and girls, they. It's always they if it's more than one person. And finally, what's his favorite sport, her favorite sport, or their favorite sport? So we looked at these personal pronouns before. Remember, we can say I, you, he, she, they, we. So we use these for the subject. But if we're referring to something else, like my name, we use my. My name, my favorite food, my favorite sport. If it's you, we say your. Say his. She, we say her. They, we say there, we, we say are. So we have basically two words for each of these pronouns, I or my, you or your, he or his. So here we're saying, what's his favorite sport? What is Daniel's favorite sport? What's his favorite sport? Running. What's her favorite sport? Tennis. What's their favorite sport? 
football. What's his favorite sport? Volleyball. Now, uh, complete this grammar file. Remember we have personal pronouns. The first list are personal pronouns and possessive adjectives. Here we have I and my. So what word goes here? You. You can also look at the words up here to put in the correct words, you. Uh, so we have I, my, you, your, you, now, what about he? He, his. So write his here. Now, what about her? She, her. So write she here. We have it or its. What about our? We or our. You. Again, it's your. Your. And they. There, it's T-H-E-I-R. So just remember, these are personal pronouns, like, like as or to in Kurdish, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. But we have this second option called possessive adjectives. We use this when we're referring to something else. If we wanna talk about um, someone's name, we don't say I name, we say my name or your name, or his name, her name, their names, our names. Okay, if we're referring to some other thing, if we're possessing another thing, then we don't use this, we use these, okay? So you have to learn both. Now, listen and repeat. One, number country. So this is a similar sound. One, number, country, a, uh, okay, two, you, youth. These all have an oo sound. Three, he, she. This has an e sound. Four, sport, ball. Let's have an or or aw uh sound. Five, I, nine. These have an I sound. Okay, now listen and write these words under the correct sound. Your, your, your. Okay, does your sound like one, two, three, four, or five? Your has the same sound as for, your, for. So write, Lisa, write your here. My, my, one, two, three, four, or five. What, what word has the I sound? I, this one, I, nine, five, my, Lisa, my, write my. Running. Uh, 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 name. One, two, three, four, or five. One, running has the uh sound like number, country, uh. We, we has an e sound. E, e. One, two, three, four, five. Three, e. We, he, she. And finally, blue, blue, one, two, three, four, five, two, blue, you, youth, and two. I'll have the ooh sound. Um, we can complete uh, this activity in your uh, activity book for homework. So we'll look at that in a little bit. Let's look at lesson two, unit one, lesson two. This is on page 22. Okay, listen and repeat this conversation. Sue, today we're at the game's welcome party. Martin, yes, it's great. Sue, lots of young people from London are here. 
more time. And a thousand competitors. So from 50 different countries. Martin. Sue, who's that? Is it Daniel? Sue. No, it isn't. It's Roberto. He's from Brazil. Martin. Oh, yes, of course. And who's that man? Is he Brazilian? Sue. No, he isn't silly. He's my teacher. Martin. Sorry. And who's that? She isn't a teacher. Sue. I'm not sure. So they're at a party, a welcome party for the World Youth Games. Here they are at the party. They're talking about the different people. They say there's a thousand competitors. Competitors are people playing games uh, in the World Youth Games from 50 different countries, wow. So here they're talking about the people they see. Uh, true or false, number one, Sue and Martin are at the game's welcome party. Is this true or is this false? Sue and Martin are at the game's welcome party. True, you can see here, today we're at the game's welcome party. Okay, number two, a hundred competitors are at the games. Is this true or false? This is false. Actually, it says a thousand competitors. So this is 100. This is 1,000. It's a lot more, 1,000. So this is false, F, false. Number three, people from 50 countries are at the party. That is true. We have 50 different countries. True. T. Number four, Carla and Roberta aren't at the party. Hmm. Are Carla and Roberto at the party? Well, here they're talking about somebody. They say, no, it isn't Daniel, it's Roberto. So Roberto is at the party. So number four is false. I think they are at the party. Number five, Sue's teacher is a woman. So here he says, who's that man? Is he Brazilian? And Sue says, no, he isn't silly. He's my teacher. If it says he, is this a man or a woman? That's a man. So is Sue's teacher a woman? No, that's false. So most times when we have a word, we want to make it more than one, we add S. Cat becomes two cats. There are some words that we don't add an S though. For example, person, one person, two people, one man, two men, one woman, two women. So in most cases like cat, cats, book, books, you just add an S. But for a few words like person, man, or woman, if we want to say it's more than one, then we say the word different. Repeat after me, one person, five people, one man, two men, one woman, six women. Good. Now, um, answer these questions. Is Sylvia from Italy? Uh, yes, she is. Let's see, is Daniel from the USA? Do you remember? No, he isn't. Where's Daniel from? I think Daniel is from Italy. Yeah. So uh, here we have them at the party. 
Here they are talking about other people. Practice uh, reading and studying this conversation. Now on page 23, we have some grammar. Do we use are or is? Isn't or aren't? So for example, um, we use is for uh, one person. We use are for more than one person. For example, he is, she is, it is. Are or they are, we are, you are, and we use am for I am. So take a look at this grammar box. Remember, we said if in a statement we say I am, in a question we say am I. So here we have the question, am I? What about you? Is it is you, am you, or are you? It's are you. So write are here. Are you? Are you? All right, then we have is he. What about she? Do we say is, am, or are? We say is, is she? What about it? Again, we say is, is it? What about, and then we have are we? What about um, you? We say is, am, or are? We say are, are you? And what about they? We say are. So you can think about it like this. We say am for I, is for he, she, it, are for they, we, or you. Okay, so these are for questions. Questions. These are all the negative statements. For example, am I Kurdish? No, I am not. Are you Kurdish? No, you are not. Is he Italian? No, he is not. This is all for the Negative, no. Um, is she Mexican? No, she is not. Is it big? No, it is not. Um, are we Italian? No, we are not. Are you American? No, you are not. Are they British? No, they are not. So here we have the question form and the negative form. And then here we're gonna write the contractions. So remember, um, let's leave this here, is, am, are, and then we have these contractions. So a contraction is when we take two words and put them together. I am becomes I'm, you are becomes your, he is becomes he's. She is becomes she's, and so on. Um, it is becomes it's. We are becomes we're. You are becomes your. They are becomes their. So all of these are called contractions. It's when we take two words, word, word, and we make it into one. We are becomes we're. You are becomes your. They are becomes there. So write the contractions in these boxes. All right. Copy and complete. Can you write all of these numbers? We'll check your homework tomorrow. Uh, so copy, uh, write, write, then visa, the spelling for each of these numbers. So here we see the difference between 13 and 30. So 13, make sure to say the t sound and the e sound. But here we say 30. So we say this as if the T is actually a D, 30. 
not 30, 30. Not 30, 30. So repeat after me, 13, 30. 14, 40. 15, 50. 16, 60. 17, 70. 18, 80. 19, 90. Practice saying these on your own as well. Um, this is something we will complete later. So, for your homework, do pages 19, 20, and 21 in your activity book. So on page 19, um, complete these phrases. For example, here we can say, he's pointing to her, so we say, you are, here we say, you are, here we say, they're pointing to themselves. We are, he says, you are, and he says, I am. Okay, so write the correct to be verb in these spaces. Um, in number three, create sentences like this one. My name is Anna, I am from Australia. His name is Roberto, he is from Brazil. Her name is Maria, she is from Greece, and so on. In part four, uh, write sentences, so put spaces in the correct places. Hello, what's your name? Now put spaces, hello, space, what's, space, your, space, name. Number two, where's she from? You'll write where's space she space from number three i'm from the usa i'm space from space the space usa and so on in part five see if you can write the sports using all of these words so swimming what about number two what do you think it is Ta I think it's tennis. What about number three? Foo. Hmm. Here it is. Football. Football. Number four. Basque. Basque. Here we have basket. Ball. Okay and then write the sports here. Um, complete the puzzle and find the missing number. So here we wrote the word 16. Here, write the word 18. Here, write the word 11, 15, 20, 13, 12, 14, 19. And you'll have a missing number, a number right here. All right, on page 20, copy the conversation here from your book. Write questions and answers. Is Sylvia from Spain? No, she isn't, she's from Italy. Is Daniel from England? No, he isn't, he's from Spain. Um, part three, uh, write sentences like this one. Sylvia isn't Spanish, she's Italian. Daniel isn't English, he's uh, Spanish. Carla and Roberto aren't English, they're um, Spanish and so on. Uh, we will check your answers tomorrow in our video. So on page 21, uh, you'll change the contraction to the full form. Remember we said sometimes we had to take two words. For example, who is, and we make it short, like whose. Here, they want you to take the short word and make it long. Whose becomes who is. He's becomes he is. So write the long form, not the short form. Uh, she isn't, isn't becomes is not. Where's becomes where is. I'm becomes I am. There they are. 
it's, it is, aren't, are not. Okay, so write the sentence using the full or the long form. Write the numbers in words and uh, double them. So 24, would be so 24. And then what's 24 plus 24? 48. 13, write 13. What's 13 and 13? 26, write 26. 42, write 42. What's 42 and 42? 84, so write 84. And then here, write the numbers here. Um, then write the next three numbers. So for example, 5, 10, 15. And if we're counting by five, we can say 20, 25, 30. So this is a little bit of math for you. Um, 12, 10, 8, write 12, 10, 8. And then here you'll write 6, 4, 2, going down. Here we have 50, 60, 70. So write 50, 60, 70. And then what comes next? 80, 90, 100. Here we have 11, 22, 33. So write 11, 22, 33. And then 44, 55, 66. Here we have 19, 18, 17. Write 19, 18, 17. And after that, 16, 15, 14, going down. In part seven, find eight countries. Write them in alphabetical order. Start with A, then B, then C, then D, then E. Alphabetical order. Okay, so we'll correct your homework tomorrow. Um, thank you for joining me for this lesson. If you have questions, watch the video again, or you can always contact me. Um, I hope you understood this lesson and that it was helpful. Do your homework, keep studying and working hard at home. And I will see you, or more likely you will see me in our next lesson. Thank you for joining me today and goodbye everyone.